Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And about to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The National President of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, al Haji Yerima Shetima, has flayed the popular Islamic scholar, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, over his approach to the banditry situation in the country. According to The Sun, Shetima also expressed support for the anti-open grazing laws being put in place by the southern governors. He, however, advised the governors to go about the issue diplomatically so that the matter would not become a source of friction between the north and the southern regions. Gumi, who had been visiting bandits in the forest in an attempt to negotiate a peace deal with them, had several times asked the Nigerian government to grant amnesty to bandits like the Niger Delta militants. Reacting, Yerima Shetima said, No way! No! I am not in support of that. We must not encourage it. Let us reconsider and let us consider the victims of banditry first. Have they been well taken care of? Have they been rehabilitated? Has anything been done for them substantially to compensate them? Why should you now consider amnesty for those people who created the difficult situation in which they found themselves? Why should we make the bandits feel that they are so important to be considered for amnesty? I have a lot of respect for Dr. Gumir, and he may have his reasons for saying that, but I don't think I share his idea on that. I am not on the same page with him over this. Bandits and others who are found wanting should be dealt with as criminals. Anybody who is found wanting should be dealt with as a common criminal. Anybody who is found to be dealing with them should also not be spared. Bandits should not be allowed to turn Nigeria into a banana republic where everybody can be a law unto themselves. No excuse whatsoever can justify the criminality being committed by these bandits. The bandits should be treated as criminals. We should allow the law to deal with them. On the anti open grazing bill recently passed, to law by some governors, the Arewa leader said, open grazing to an extent has been creating problems here and there. It should be banned, and I agree with that. But let it not be seen as if it is an issue between the North and the South. Let the governors find a way to diplomatically address the issue. Inasmuch as some people believe that we should not encourage it, we should be careful the way we go about it so that it would not be seen as if it is something between the North and the South. Let us come up with reasons for opposing it and then harmonize our positions so that at the end of the day, we will all agree on a common position. Don't forget that there are some northern governors who are also opposed to open grazing like the governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduji and Governor Masari of Katsina State. The governors should not allow the matter to become a source of division between the north and the south. 
The ban on open grazing is in order. But it should not be seen as a gang up against the North. The issue should not be seen to be a sectional or ethnic agenda because if we allow that to happen, it will not augur well for the country. We shouldn't allow the issue to become a source of discontentment between the North and the South. The governors from the North and the South are colleagues. They should not allow the issue to be blown out of proportion as if it is one side that is against another for the sake of Nigeria's unity. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning what Ahmed uh, Yerima Shetim Arada had said? Well, I think the Northerners are beginning to come to terms with the truth Well, on this issue. It's not as if they probably do not know the truth, but I think they were just trying to play to the gallery and to see how they could um, uh, override the will and the wishes of the people from the South. And probably they were just trying to play their luck or play their card to see if they can um, you know, uh, impose themselves, their desires, what they want on the Southerners. But on saying that it wasn't working, it wasn't going to, uh, it, it wasn't going to the plan. I think that is the reason why they decided against it, and that's why they are coming out one after the other to actually uh, admit and uh, tore the part of the southern governors, which you know is a good one for them. Kudos to them, and um, they are welcome on board the restructuring that they are actually rejecting or refusing. They were refusing is now what seems to be inevitable. Well, it is good. It is good, if you ask me. I think the earlier the better they come to terms with this, you know, the better for everyone at the end of the day. Why? Because this country needs to be restructured. It doesn't matter how they feel. It doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter what they think. What is most important is that what would move the country forward or would unite the country is important and has to be stuck with and has to be pushed for that is what it is well what are your thoughts guys concerning this particular news story as it were please drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories and then also share these news stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you guys on the other news thank you and bye for now